Today I want to talk to you about paper. And I have paper. I have two shelves. These down here are th <coughs> from slabs. Slabs of paper that I got at Michael's. And, and then these are these are just plain papers that I've picked up from Michael's or Hobby Lobby. These are pounds of paper from Club Scrap. These are my paper collections from Stampin' Up! Right here. That's more of the Michaels and Hobby Lobby papers. <laughs> These are all Club Scraps. And then this is what I have for the 12 by 12 of Stampin' Up! And these are... This is some of the slab stuff, yet, from Michaels. It isn't going to make any difference where you go. If you go to Michaels, if you go to Hobby Lobby, if you go to a local scrapbook store, if you go online to Club Scrap or you go online to Stampin' Up, paper selections are vast, mind-boggling, Charlie Horse brain cramp time. There's such a variety of paper available that I almost don't know where to start. This is Stampin' Up's. This is one of Stampin' Up's designer papers, 12 by 12, and it's double-sided. This is a corrugated piece, and it's called corrugated because it has these wavy things in it like it's been crimped. This is called mulberry paper, close up in here. Mulberry paper is real thin. It's see-through. You can see. You can see my fingers through it. And it has these fibers in it. When you tear a mulberry paper, it doesn't tear straight like a regular piece of paper would. When it hits one of the fibers, it goes off, but it leaves this soft, it leaves this soft edge. This is really a see-through piece of paper. And it is called Paper Lace. This is a piece from one of the slabs that I picked up at Michael's. It's white on the back. And this, again, is one of the pieces from Michael's or Hobby Lobby. It's just plain paper. And this is supposed to be 80 pound. And this is a piece from Club Scrap, and it's textured. Oh, let's see. It's not all of their paper is textured, but this is textured on one side. If you use the regular weight paper, the, just the regular weight paper on with these things, these things will poke through. They'll poke holes in this paper and they'll tear it. Even this button with the shank. This will tear a hole through, through this thinner paper. Some real pretty items. I got these off eBay. And they have many pokey areas. So you need to have some paper with a heft. One of these papers that are, that are more dense. Even things like these buttons with the little sticky back. Being in, in the scrapbook page, the previous pages, when they come together, they will push an indent into this paper eventually. So what you want, ideally, what you want is a heavier back paper. That will be the base paper. And then you can use the lighter weight paper for your decorative elements, whatever. You can get a book of paper. This is from Paper Pizzazz and this is from Michaels. And it has it has all of these 
all of these paper colors in it. And these are light, these are light colored papers. And Paper Pizzazz also has a collection. This one is black and white for, for uh, black and white photos. This pack of paper has some kind of wild, wild kinds of paper. And they have some little frame things. And they're white on the back. They have some. And then comes comes stacks. Little little stacks. And these are I think eight by eight. And you get an assortment of papers. And as if any of that wasn't bad enough, then they have these big fat cardstock pads. I'm gonna sneeze here in a minute. And Excuse me. And these are just what are what are these four and a half by six and a half pieces of cardstock. Now this one is called a fat stack, and it's a small one. And what size are these? These are about three and three quarter by three and three, a little bit bigger than three and three quarter by three and three quarter. And they're also cardstock. But paper choices out there are mind-boggling and even on the internet you go to any of the sites any of the sites that have paper available and you'll be googly-eyed by the time you're done trying to figure out what you want now one other paper I forgot to tell you about is vellum vellum is a real thin paper and it is see-through also get these strips. These, they also sell these and these are cardstock and they match with their bold and neutrals and whatever and these can be used as titles title page, uh, title sheets at the top of your page or at the side or you can cut it down and use it as a journaling page just remember a heavier piece of cardstock for the back of your page and then any kind of designer paper for the front 